Right folks, we're going to make a start with today's session. It is a midweek workout. We are hitting tonight's workout on a Wednesday, getting it done. As usual folks, it's a 40 minute workout uh, and today is going to be more strength and conditioning. However, there's going to be a little bit of endurance in there because we're going to be doing things on a timer. Uh, the main focus today is we're going to be doing push, pull and legs. Okay, So we're going to be doing push movements, pull movements, which are going to obviously target uh, biceps and back muscles and push movements are going to work more the front, such as triceps. Uh, shoulders uh, and chest <clears throat> and some arms and then obviously we're going to then focus on legs as well with a little bit of core in at the end okay so those movements we're going to focus on we're going to be grouping those into four exercises all together so let's say we have four exercises on push movements uh, we're going to repeat that so many laps and we're going to be doing one minute per exercise so instead of doing a desired amount of reps we're going to be doing one minute per exercise and then we'll move on to the next one which will be obviously pull uh, and then legs and then core if we get round to core okay so it is going to be quite a sweaty workout because there's not a lot of rest and there's more of a work rate however in tonight's workout I don't you go 100 mile an hour to uh, focus on the control of the movements have that mind to muscle connection with the areas that you're going to be working and uh, yeah let's have a good workout folks so before we do anything I'm going to warm up their muscles stretch off and I'll crack on with the 30 minute workout uh, 40 minute workout I should say so nice and light guys bouncing on the spot let's get the heart rate up body nice and warm Lightening your toes, warming those legs up, and shaking off any rust from uh, Monday's workout, which is a couple of days up, uh, a couple of days ago, or whether you've done any workouts between that, such as yesterday. Then we're going to shake off that kind of stiffness and rustiness, and here uh, make sure we're nice and loose for today's session, fired up, ready to go, ready for the weekend. Okay, from there, folks, bounce, uh, not bounce that spot. High knees, nice high knees, jogging the spot. That's it. Get those legs going. As usual, control the breathing, nothing too crazy to start with, nice and light. And then back to bouncing. So I can see we've got you joining, Stu, is that Lisa with you as well? Is it just yourself, mate? Let me know in the comments box if it's both of you or if it's just yourself. It's always good to know who's joining on these live workouts. And then from there, put those knees up nice and high, jogging on the spot. That's the one. Control the breathing, get those legs working. And good stuff guys, back to bouncing again, controlling the breathing, that's the one. And then same again, we're going to bring those knees up nice and high, but this time we're going to swing the arms back at the same time, loosening that upper body and chest muscles. <clears throat> good stuff, and back to bouncing on the spot, nice and light, and then from there now, forward and back. That's it, keep those heels off the ground, switching your feet. And then in and out, so into centre, and then out to the side, keeping that going. And back to bouncing again, guys. From there, bringing one leg all the way up, tapping the inside of your foot, so warming those hips. That's it, nice high legs, keeping that going. Good stuff, guys, nice and light, that's the one. Bringing those legs up, tapping the foot. Good stuff, and back to bouncing from there. <clears throat> and give those legs a bit of a shake off. From there, five big hip circles. So five one way once you've done that. Five the opposite way. Nice, and then from there, 10 rotations. So twisting from one side and then to the other, nice and loosely. Yeah, it's nice guys. And then from there, we're going to stretch off. So front leg bent, back leg straight, nice long stretch, really stretch those uh, leg muscles. Hold that position there, focusing on working on your flexibility. And then change over to the other side. Once you've done that, same again, lean in towards that lead leg. Hold that position, controlling the breathing. Nice, and then change over to the other side, same again. Lean in towards that left leg, hold that there. And from there, go on to ball your foot and drop your hip down when you feel that on your hip flexor, hold that position. Nice, and then change over to the other side, same again, guys. Go on to ball your foot and drop that hip down when you feel it on your hip flexor again, hold that position, control the breathing. Good, and then to centre, 
So what I want you to do from there, slide out your feet as far as you can go. Relax into that stretch just to start with. That's it, nothing too crazy, just control the breathing. Try to relax the muscles, try not to tense up at all, okay? You want to try to keep those muscles relaxed. And then from there, slowly, hands to the floor. Now, if you can get your hands to the floor, then great. And we're going to hold that position, slide your legs out a bit further if you can. That's it, just give those legs a little bit of a shake, just to tell your brain to relax. And then from there, we're going to twist around towards your left side for a couple seconds. Hold that. And then round towards the other side, which done that, hold that for a couple of seconds. And then to centre, then from there we're going to curl ourselves up. And both feet together, and slowly hands down towards the floor, as far as you can, hold that stretch there, keep both legs straight, stretching the back of your legs, and your lower back muscles. And come up slowly from there, last few leg ones, we're going to sit on the floor. Soles your feet together, hands on top of your feet, and then all we're going to do is just push those elbows down as close as we can. We feel that on the inside of your thighs. As usual, folks, hold that there and really try to focus on relaxing. Yep, nice work. And then from there, right leg bent, left foot on top of your knee. And what I want you to do from there is walk yourself in, trying to get your chest towards your ankle. You feel that on your hip, hold that position. And then change sides, so then right foot on top of your left knee. Again, guys, walking yourself in. When you feel that here, hold that position. <clears throat> nice work. And then I'm just going to loosen that upper body. So jump up, big hip, uh, not hip circles, big arm circles forward. Loosen that upper body and shoulders. And then big circles back when you're on that. And then straight arms back to nice high arms, shoulder height, swing in the back. And last few stretches now, and then we're going to crack on with the meaty stuff. So left arm across your chest, right arm, you pull that arm in and across your chest. And then change right side this time, left arm underneath. Hold that again. <coughs> and then left arm to your shoulder blades, right on top, push that elbow down. When you feel it at the back of your arm, hold that position. And then change up the side. And from there, give yourself a bit of shake off. Right, I'm going to quickly explain what we've got planned. So your first lot of exercise, guys, is a push movements. We've got four different push movements to get through, and we're going to do each one in a minute. So your first exercise, now you can do this on the wall. You've three versions. We're going to do a push-up with a rotation, which is mainly going to work on the chest muscles. However, you will feel a little bit in your triceps, and just continuous and alternating. So your easiest version is on the wall. You're going to perform a press up and then on the way up, what you're going to do, you're going to twist and lean in towards one side. So you do a press up, twist in towards one side. Press up, lean and twist. And then on your knees, exactly the same thing, guys. So we're in this position, lean forward with your knees, hands shoulder width apart. Hopefully you can see me from there. Hands shoulder width apart, lay yourself down, and as you come up, we're rotating and twisting. Press up, rotate and twist. And then obviously, harder version is in the normal press up position, exactly the same, lay yourself down, come up and twist. Down, come up and twist. And like I said, that's gonna be mainly working around your kind of chest muscles and also your triceps. One minute of that, then we're gonna find yourself a chair, I forgot to mention that at the start. Find yourself a chair. Now, if you haven't got a chair, okay, because um, obviously you just haven't got one or whatever, then instead, I want you to do military push-ups. So you can do this on the wall, or medium, if you're doing these, hands are closer this time, so tucked in like so, and what you're going to do is lay your chest down and then push through your triceps. Now if you have got a bench or a chair or anything, then what you want to do is sit on your thumbs, step outwards, and from there we're going to drop down vertical and then back up, working your triceps to the back of the arms, okay? That's your second exercise. Third exercise, guys, is... Um, where are we now? now. Um, is shoulder presses. Okay, so if you've got a weight, then grab your one weight, hand here, and then you're just going to press up above your head and then back down. Now, if you haven't got that, we've got blast offs. Okay, so to do that, in the press up plank position, and all you're going to do, you're going to go from here and push your hips back and then back down. Okay, 
Obviously hard version is a press up and then push backwards. One minute those. And your last exercise is wall extensions or tricep extensions. Wall extension, you're gonna have hands forehead height, step backwards and you're gonna lower your elbows to the wall and then push up from there. Okay, if you have got weights, if you want to do this one, grab the weight behind you, I'm gonna do tricep extensions behind your head. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna do one minute on each of them exercises and we're gonna repeat for two laps. Okay, so two laps continuous. All right, so you're still gonna work your cardio. One minute on each, with about eight seconds rest in between. All right, I'm getting a couple seconds. Two, one, and off we go, guys. First one minute, which is the press up with the rotation. Press up and rotation. So you're gonna to lean towards one side and twist. That's the one, keeping those hands shoulder width apart. That's it, breathing through it. Can barely talk on these ones because these are a tough exercise. Remember, you can do this on your knees or even on the wall. I say, come on guys, last 10 seconds and we get a little eight second rest and then we're to the next exercise. Time. Eight seconds off, into them tricep dips or you've got the military press ups, off we go. So you might have to take little rests on these, little rest and then go again. Oh man, they burn. That's it. A little pause. It's just about getting as many reps as you can within that minute and pushing through the burn. Oh man. <coughs> These absolute kill off the press ups. Come on, guys. Keep it going. 20 seconds left now. Last 10, almost there, that's the one, chest forward, back straight. Time. Now from there, I can't remember where we were. What are we on? Oh, the shoulder press or the blast off, so off we go. That's it, you don't need a heavy weight for these because you'll notice guys, through these push mus through these push exercises, the same muscles are pretty much being worked. So you'll feel that burn just on a couple of reps into the each exercise. That's it, we're gonna to start to sweat through it now, push through it, push through that bait and that pain. So it lasts 10 seconds, and then we're to try some extensions. Now we've got two laps of this. So we've got try some extensions, and then, and time. And then we're gonna do one more full lap. Now you've got wall extensions, or try some extensions. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna do the wall extensions. Off we go, guys. One minute, go, 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 go. Straight onto it. That's it, come on, let's go. That's it, lower your hips down with it as well. Keeping those hands forehead height and keeping your elbows pinned in. <coughs> let's go. Come on, 
10 seconds left now, 10 seconds, every rep counts, we're back onto the press ups which we started with. Time. Woo. Eight second rest, back 10 press ups, back to start, second lap now. And off we go guys, let's go, 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 go. That's it, breathing through it. Big, deep, nice, quality, good reps. Them triceps have been burning, as well as your shoulders, as well as your chest muscles. Come on, let's go. Come on, 20 seconds now, 20 seconds left. Let's go guys, push through it. Come on, let's go team. And from there into dips guys. Eight second breather. And off we go. Straight onto it, little dips. Keep those elbows behind and pinned in. Oh man, and my arms are sore now. Come on, let's go. Keep pushing through it. Working on them push exercises. Let's go, guys. Oh, it went then. Oh. You might have to just do little chunks and then back into it again. Come on. Come on, let's go. Last three seconds. Time. Now from there, what did we have? Oh, shoulder press. Little blast offs. Off we go, guys. Straight into it. Let's go. Come on, let's go, team. Come back fit. Push through it. And again, come on. Dig deep, keeping that heart rate nice. High average heart rate. Continue them exercises. And just pushing through continuous repetitions. Let's go. That's it, reach right the way up onto your chest and back up. All you're doing, all you can be doing them blast offs if you can remember them. And again, come on, let's go, let's get fit. Working on that cardio as well as that muscular endurance. And time. Last set now, guys. One time wall extensions. Come on, let's have it. Three, two, one. Off we go. Wall extensions or standing tricep extensions with the weight. It's up to you. Oh man, come on, let's go. Keep pushing through it. If you have a little rest, then back on it again. Try not to rest too long. Push that body out of that cup. So then let's have it. Twenty seconds now. There's twenty seconds to go. Them arms are gonna be burning. Them shoulders are gonna be on fire, and them chest muscles are gonna be on fire as well. Come on. Two, one, and time. And take a nice long breather, guys. Well done. That's the first lot of exercises, or circuit, should I say, completed. We're now going to move on to pull exercises. 
Now give yourself a little breather, get yourself a quick drink if needs. Three, and let me know how you're feeling as well, guys. Oh, that's well needed. Uh, Stu, just Stu tonight. Okay, mate, no worries. Hopefully you're feeling it. So, so far, so good, guys. Well done. Now, listen up, guys, because I'm going to be showing you the next lot of circuits are going to be pull exercises, all right? So, pull exercises. Hint the name, everything's going to be pulling, so it's going to work a lot of back and biceps is the main target, okay? Maybe a little bit of glutes because we might be holding like a bent over row position, um, but I'll let you know. Right then. Yeah, exactly. First one is bent over rows. Now, if you've got your towel, obviously I'm going to use bands. If you've got these bands off the combat fit shop, then great, use these, just fold it in half. If you haven't, then grab yourself a towel, fold it in half. <coughs> or you might have a combat fit towel, so I say. Um, hand short apart, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna lower yourself down, so feet short apart, slap the knees, lower your hips down so your back is really straight, and all you're gonna do is just pull the towel into your chest. Pull your towel into your chest. Now, because you hold that position, you will feel a little bit in your legs and glutes, and also a bit lower back, but it's also gonna work mainly your higher back and your biceps. Focus on keeping the tension on the towel and pulling it apart. Don't relax or slack off, okay? That's your first exercise. Then from there, we have got, uh, where are we? Bat wings. Now, if you, can, if you can remember this one, then great. So if you haven't got cushions, guys, so if you haven't got two cushions and on laminate flooring, then don't worry because you can use a mat or put two cushions underneath um, your elbows. What you're going to do, you can have your elbows underneath your shoulders, Feet are flat in front, and what I want you to do is push through your elbows and lift your chest up and then back down again. So all you're doing, so from the side, I can show you, so we're here, and push through your elbows and lift your chest up, and that's going to be working just behind your shoulder blades. Next exercise, guys, is um, lat pulls. Okay, so we did this the other day, but we're going to do double, double ones. So you line the floor, okay, like so. Arms out in front, all you to do is do a dorsal race, you're going to lift yourself up, squeeze in, and then down. We're not going to use any towel on this one, because this is just as effective. I want you to really try and get your elbows into the side of your body. Bicep curls. So, you line the floor, fold the towel in half, okay, like so. Line the floor, and what you do is you want to pull your legs in using your arms. Okay, so try to fight it with your legs, so I push down at the same time, pull it in. Now, if you have got weights, you can have used two dumbbells, and we're going to do both at the same time. So imagine these are two dumbbells, and you're just curling in. Or if you've got resistant bands, just basically do what I'm doing. Okay, we try to rest at the bottom, always keep the tension on, so you're starting here instead of there. You start there, up, and then down, okay? Let's go, guys. Same again, two laps, one minute on each. I'm going to move on to legs already. Let's just time check. Yes, we're doing five, oh, are we? Yeah, brilliant, we're doing the final time, so we should squeeze in some legs. All right then, five seconds, starting with the first exercise, which is bent over rows, fold your towel in half, we're ready, three, two, one, off we go. Grab over grip, and off we go. Pulling that towel apart, and again. Or if you've got resistant bands like I have, then pulling the resistant bands apart. I'm keeping that back straight, chest forward, yeah? That's it, keep it going. That's it, pulling with the shoulders, keeping the neck straight, trying not to have your head up here. Just so keep your head down so your spine is completely flat. Oh, these start to burn right behind your shoulder blades. Especially after the other push exercises we're doing. That's a little rest, if you notice I'm taking a little rest and back in it again. Five seconds, guys. Time. From there, back wings, if you can remember, so we're going to lie flat on the floor. Elbows into the ground. And push through your elbows. Three, two, one, off we go. I said lifting your back off the ground as much as you can, 
Keep your legs flat into centre and dig your elbows into the ground and back down again. And if you notice I'm pausing at the top as well, so just squeeze, pause and back down. You will feel a little bit in your abs because obviously we're kind of doing a sit up. But I want you to focus on relaxing your tummy and trying to push through your elbows. and Just lift your back up slightly off the ground. Last few seconds. Time and roll over it into lap pulls. And off we go, guys. Pulling in and back down again. Lift your chest up, squeeze and down and again. Come on, let's go, guys. Keep pushing. Really focus on squeezing them lats. Just underneath your armpits. Try to pinch your elbows in and try to touch your body, which will never happen. But that's the idea, that's how you get a really good contraction on those muscles, toning that full body. Come on, and keep continuously going so we're working that heart rate and burning maximum calories throughout the session. Last five seconds. Time. Bicep curls. You can do this with the weights or sitting down or standing. And off we go, guys. Go, 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 go. Bicep curls, but try not to rest at the bottom. Keep the tension on. And once we've done this, we've got another full lap of it. Once a second lap. Starting with the bent over rows again, guys. <sighs> Breathing through it. Come on, let's go. I say, if you want to make it tough, if you've got these wrist bands, just widen your feet. <sighs> 20 seconds now. Come on, guys, let's go. Time. Fold your towel in half if you've still got it. Stand up. We've got bent over rows. On to that second lap of exercise already. It's going to be tough now. Off we go, guys. Pulling that towel apart. Come on, keep it continuous again. Try not to rest too long. That's the one, guys. Come around again. Pinching them elbows behind. Try to focus on shrugging your shoulders back. And not pulling too much of your arms. Try to pull with your shoulder blades, if that makes sense, yeah? <sighs> Woo. Come on, 20 seconds now. 20 seconds left. Let's go. And time. Then from there, can't remember. Oh. Back wings. Already. Lie on the floor. Two, one. Off we go, guys. That's it. Come on, let's go. Pinch them elbows together. And back down again. So elbows just below your shoulders, pinch upwards and then down. That's it, have those elbows right underneath your shoulders. Come on, let's go. Come on, keep pushing through it. 
10 seconds now. And time, roll over in some uh, lap pulls. Are we ready? Quick, 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 quick. And off we go, guys. Very short rest. Off we go. Oh, sorry, you don't need the resistant band or the towel. I forgot we're doing these without. Little rest at the bottom. Lift your chest up and squeeze. Rest at the bottom, lift your chest up and squeeze. That's it. You need to lift the chest a tiny bit. Not too much because it will start to hurt a little back if you do. There's a little bit. Squeeze your elbows together and back. And again, come on, guys, push through it. Almost there, 15 seconds. Keep it continuously going now, guys. Let's go. Time. Bicep curls up to your feet quickly. Or you can do this lying down, remember? <coughs> and off we go, guys. Continuous bicep curls now. Ah, come on. Let's go. Dig deep now. Let's push. Twenty seconds. Oh man. Ten seconds now. Ten seconds. Keep it continuous again. Work them arms. I'm gonna work on some legs to finish off with. Come on. Let's push. Time. Woo. And have a little rest, guys. Well done. We've done push. We've done pull. We're going to move on some legs now. So get yourself a quick drink. Let me know how you're feeling, guys. Uh, I've got no comments. So I'm guessing half of you are dead. Um, right, then, time check. At the amount of time. Yes, we are. We should be able to squeeze legs in. We'll just get it done. <coughs> Right then, quickly going to show you these. First uh, exercise, we're going to focus on. Um, let's have a quick look. Du -du -du -du. We're going to focus on pistol squats. Now, if you've got a chair, sit on a chair or whatever, I'm going to use a stool in a second. Now, if you haven't, then instead I want you to do uh, front lunges. No, we'll do back lunges. So you can step backwards. Like so, step up and then step back down again. Okay, if you have got a stool or chair or even a sofa, then grab that. If you're using a stool like I am, then make sure you put it up against something stable. Okay, like so to be fair, I might do these on the sofa, but I'll show you from here. So, what we're going to do is 90 degree bend with your leg, one leg in front, we're going to stand up and then change and obviously take your time on the way down. Now, if you're obviously doing it on the sofa, I'll show you from the side just so you can see. Check that out way. Hopefully you can see from there. Center of the chair, 90 degree bend with your leg, one leg out in front, and all we're gonna do is simply stand up and then change. Stand up and change. Obviously, the lower the chair, the easier it is, the higher the chair. So the lower the chair, harder it is, the higher the chair, the easier it is. Okay. Then from there into side lunges. All we have to do on this one is side split lunges. So toes turn outwards, and all we're gonna do is drop down towards one side, center, then to the other side. So from the side, it should look something like this. Focus on pushing your hip back, whilst keeping one leg straight, and then drop down into the other side. Now, if you want to use a weight, you can do I'm going to. Then from there, guys, um, hip thrusts, uh, double leg ones, seated. Now, if you haven't got a chair, then you can do these on the floor. So, dig your elbows in, dig your heels in, and all you do from there is lift your hips up, pause, then down, up, pause, and down. Now, the harder version, I'll make it a bit harder. Just use a chair. 
sit on the edge, so your shoulder blades are on it, legs out in front, all you do is dip your hips, come up and squeeze, come up and squeeze, just focus on dipping your hips, keep your back against so it, don't let your shoulders come forward, and the last exercise is um, single leg carb raises, so all we're going to do is tip toes, one foot here, other, other leg up, you're going to go up, up and then down, up, up and down, we do 10 that side, and then 10, no, we'll do 30 seconds. So I'm to shout time, I want you to swap legs and then do 30 on the other leg. And that's gonna work your lower carb muscles. All right then guys, let's get it done. Okay, this is gonna be a tough round. Two laps and we've done tonight's workout. All right then guys, come on. <coughs> um, let's start the time. I'm gonna start with the pistol squats. All right. I'm gonna three, two, one, and off we go. So standing up with one leg, and dropping down, lifting leg up. So go up, bring leg down, and as we sit down, the leg comes forward. Yeah, if that makes sense. And reach forward with your arms. You really feel this on your quads and just above your knee. Make sure you're landing back on the chair safely. And like I said, make sure that chair is up against something supported or it will slide back. What it can do. That's it, and again, lift up, and alternate. One minute on each exercise, two full laps. It's about eight minutes left of your workout, if that. Come on, let's go, guys. And again, 10 seconds. And time. Split lunges. So in this position, toes turned outwards, and off we'll get leaning towards one side, center, other side, center. If you notice you're not going 100 miles an hour, I'm controlling it. So I'm pushing my hips back and keeping it continuous. You feel that on your, it's going to work your glutes. And your adductors, which is the side of your leg. Come on, let's go. Come on, keep pushing. And again. Keep breathing through it. These are tough. Nice deep lunges as much as your hips will let you. And time. In some hip thrusts. Already. And off we go. Up, pause, and back down again. If you notice, I'm keeping my upper body completely still. That's it. Keep this super glued and just focus purely on your lower body. That's a little rest if you need, and straight back onto it again. You might feel a little bit on the front of your legs, especially after them pistol squats. Really squeeze as hard as you can at the top. Squeeze your hamstrings, which is the back of your legs, and your bum muscles at the top. Whew. 15 seconds now. <clears throat> Time. And up to your feet quickly. Into single leg carb raises. We're going to do 30 seconds one side. 30 seconds on the other already. Off we go. 30 seconds on one side. So we're going down and one. Up, up, down and one. So up halfway, squeeze, up again and squeeze. <clears throat> Don't use your hands on the wall. Just fingertips on the wall and purely work those lower legs, yeah? Come on. I feel that burn already on them carb muscles. <clears throat> I feel these next few days if you haven't done these. And change of a leg, off we go. Other leg now, carb raises again to keep that same pace so you're getting the same amount of reps per side. 
Come on team, let's go now, push through it. <clears throat> Once on this exercise, we're back to start, which is the pistol squats. Onto that last lap, guys. Come on, we've got this. Right at the end now, push through the last bit of the workout. Time. Pistol squats are back over your chair. Those legs are starting to feel like jelly now, especially after Monday's uh, session. And off we go. It's going to be even harder to stand up now because we've got, we've really exhausted them legs. Come on. Now remember, if you can't do these, then you've got normal lunges, reverse lunges, yeah? There's always that easy alternative if you can't do the exercises within the workout, yeah? So don't be worried. If you can't do this, go to the easier version. And then over the next weeks or month or so, you can then go on to the harder version, all right? Oh, oh, I'm not changing legs. I'm going to have one wonky leg than the other. Oh, at least I did about 30 seconds on one side. Oh. Ten seconds, let's go. And time and some side lunges. Woo! Come on. I'll show you from this side. Toes to slide outwards. And off we go, guys. One side. Center. Then to the other side without twisting your body. Keep your body nice and straight. And continuous reps, that's the one you got this now. Come on team, let's go. And again, keep pushing through it. 20 seconds, oh time, not 20 seconds. Into them hip thrusts, two exercises to go guys, two more, come on. And off we go. Push, 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 hip thrusts now. That's it, squeeze them hamstrings and glutes. Come on, last few exercises now. Dig deep, push out that comfort zone. This is where we grow and get better. Week in, week out, come on. And again, keep that average heart rate. Nice and high to score maximum points, come on. Push yourself, last little push now, come on. Ah, oh, God, them hamstrings are burning now. Eight seconds, guys, eight seconds, come on. Time, and some card raises up on your feet. Last exercise is 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. Off we go. Lean forward so you got good stretch on the back of your card on the way down. Come on, last exercise of the workout. Let's push through it now. All you've got is 45 seconds left of your workout and we're done. Ticked in the box and completed. Right, and change, other side. Try to get the same amount of reps on the other side. That's it, breathing through it now guys, let's go. And again. That's it, come on, keep digging deep. Time and breathe guys, well done, that is the workout complete for tonight, ignore that, 
amazing effort tonight. Well done. We got through it. It is a tough one, especially if you did Monday's workout. Monday's workout was a killer. So if you've done this, if you've done the last workout before this, and then this one, if you've done one week, then you've absolutely smashed it, guys. So well done, you. Let's stretch those muscles off, and then uh, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your stretch. Hold that position, back straight, chest forward. Stretch and legs now. Let me know in the comments box as well, guys, how you found that workout. <coughs> and don't forget to keep your uh, smartwatch just running at the moment until we completely completed the workout. Um, and then remember to send in your scores so that it can be updated, obviously, on the leaderboard and also onto your store. And that way you can then work towards any rewards with them points. All right? So don't forget, guys, both feet together, hands down towards the floor. Get on as far as you can, hold that position. Remember, guys, you get an extra 250 points every time you refer a friend. If you go onto the website, go onto the classes, you'll see at the bottom there's a refer friend link. Click on that, send it to your friend. Once they've signed up, they'll, you'll then get 250 points added to your store towards uh, Combat Fit Rewards. All right. That's it, left side stretch. And then change. <coughs> Other side. Hold that position. Good, and then just roll those arms forward, loosen the upper body. I tell you, that upper body's a bit worn out, especially after all them shoulder exercises and arm exercises. And then left arm across your chest, right arm knee, pull arm in and across your chest. And then change the side. Got a good sweat on it while you guys, but I'm actually pouring with sweat. This is soaked, so uh, that's a good sign. Considering we're doing more kind of slower movements, but because it was continuous, very minimal rest, continuous. Um, really good session, so you should have burned quite a lot of calories as well as that because it's more of a slower pace and we're getting that mind muscle connection. So, we're uh, uh, breaking down this fast um, type 2 muscle fibers that way when you're resting tonight, guys, you're gonna be uh, burning more calories over the next 48 hours because your muscles need to repair, and to repair it needs energy, which is obviously calories. So, you'll be burning a lot more calories than what you've just done as well, not just within the session, but after over the next 48 hours, which is brilliant. You can't beat that, you're burning calories whilst you're sleeping, all right. Pop that guys, smash it today and I'll catch you in the next workout, whether that's the next online one or whether it's on demand. Thank you very much guys, cheers!